Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel and today we're back battling in the 510 streets. Buying for this game is $1,000. 510 here, small blind min raises. And we're going to raise the flop here, 60 blinds effective with a good top pair. Four clubs on the turn, pretty bad, brings in the four line. We do have a good club though, we'll check back here. Uh, looks like a straight on the river. I'm going to try and get him off a chop here. And ooh, they did have the 9 art, so they trapped me. So I thought I was getting them off a chop. Instead, they get to me. All right, open jack 9 here, get called. We'll check back our middle pair. 10 on the turn, pretty good card. Leads out for half, pretty clear. Just call, I think. Four spades, river. Feels like a pretty good river card. Um, So for half pot, we don't love that we block queen jack and jack 8, but it's going to be a call. And ooh, that is slightly up on the 9. Cut off limp here, raise up jacks. Let's start the limp call here. Uh, King, queen, eight. Go ahead and start the check back. Seven on the turn. Check, check. And deuce river. Uh, if they check here, can we value? But I'm not sure. If they bet, I think versus half pot getting three to one, even though there's the two over cards with flop and turn checking through, we get to call. And lose king 10. Opening is king. Big blind defend here. We're going to go ahead and check back. Deuce turn, bets half will call. Five river. Uh, check's really happy to check here, trying to get a showdown. Unfortunately, lose the trip deuces. Open king nine, Dom's gonna flat here. We'll check the 10 9 9. Uh, I think this is a board we do a lot of checking on. Obviously, my specific hand is definitely good enough to bet or check raise. I'm probably just gonna check call though, um, especially without a flush drought here. And this could be a spot where he's going to have way more, not, I mean, I guess cutoff buds, so I'm not going to say way more 9x, but on this board here, I'm going to take this line. Uh, queen turn, so I don't love this. Some straights come in, although we do block king jack, which is good. So we're just going to check. Uh, bet 73. You're going to stick to the plan, just call here. Obviously, there are some bad river cards, but as we played this one, 7 doesn't really change anything unless they had 8-6 suited. I don't know if he flats on the button, so we're going to check. Probably don't get to raise um, if he bets, would be my guess. Obviously not folding as we as passed as we've played this one. So especially versus over bet, it's just a call. Has king nine, we chop it up. Ooh, we had the free roll of the hearts there. All right, this player limps here. We raise the call. Um, because of their stack size, only 30 blinds, we're going to play it a little bit different than normally. We normally do a lot of checking on this board, but here we're just going to be betting to ooh, queen turn. I'm actually probably going to check turn here. Turning the nuts, and then jam. Not the greatest river. Um, I think we still go jam here. Or actually, I'm trying to think. Their hands are probably some weaker ones. I'm actually going to block this. If we get snapped off, we're good. I'm not sure. So I was trying to go thin there where I still get called by like a 7. Now, if they had the straight, so like they had the pair and straight draw, like I'm gonna feel pretty dumb on that one. But uh, so they ended up having ten nine. Oh, well, at least call down ten high. Okay. Three bet queen jack suited here. Get called. Gonna flop a couple back doors. See a call spade turn. This is gonna be a pretty bad one. We're gonna be checking a lot. Block is a bluff, maybe? I'm gonna try to get like pocket eights, nines, stuff like that to fold here. I don't know if they do though, so I'm not sure how much I love this. That's the problem, is I have to really hope some of those types of hands are folding. Hey, that's, we're gonna fold here. I mean, maybe this is a bad combo to do this with because I block backdoor diamonds too. So like, maybe I can have some blocks as bluffs, but not use this one. So anyways, we'll fold it now. All right, now it's getting louder. You guys probably can hear it, sorry. <laughs> Uh, get through by the big blinds a pretty small size where we continue with any hand we open here at this price. Uh, flop the gut shot, no clubs though. Uh, checks to us. I'm gonna go ahead and bet. I'm not sure how much I like this. So we get called four turn.
that again. Five River. Um, I'm trying to think of like what does he have? Queen. I'm gonna run this bluff. I'm not sure if I like it. It snapped off, has aces. It's kind of part of what I was worried about. They just like slow playing once two kings came off. So maybe a bad bluff line. We try running, it doesn't work out. I would cut off with tens, dom to a three bet big blind will flat here. Flop the boat, that's a pretty good start. And nine nine. Uh, we do start a little bit shorter because auto top up wasn't working. Obviously, it's just a clear call. Turn quads, oh my gosh. Uh, unfortunately, this is actually, it's going to be a weird where actually turning quads, I think, is really bad for us here um, versus his range. Uh, bet super small, just going to call. Ace river, oh, please have aces full. This would be hilarious, especially because I'd be able to slow roll them too. Do it. All right, yes, we get the slow roll down with quads. I really, if he has nines, this is going to be hilarious. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love that we finally get a chance to slow roll down. And it's at 510. Oh, this is even better. I want him to say something in chat like he thinks I'm in the tank on some spot. He had nine six. Oh, he had a nine. Wow. <laughs> He's not going to be too thrilled about that one. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Finally got a chance to slow roll. I hope he actually thought that I had a decision because that's a spot too where it's like not like an obvious slow roll spot either. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Here we defend 10 9. We're going to flop two pair. I don't know if I want to be. I probably raise her a small call versus bigger. The checks will definitely be betting ourselves now. And Ace River. Weird. I'm going to go ahead and block here. Um, very odd run out. So, like, we lose to like Ace 10, Ace 9 now, which is definitely a thing. Uh, once we block here, we'd probably have to call. So, like, Queen Jack was already there. And like I said, only had some really well Ace 10, Ace 9, which we obviously block with two of each. So, it just ends up folding now. <laughs> Dom said, I knew that was happening as soon as you hit your time bank. Oh, come on, Dom. Don't do that to me. Don't do that to me. You were fooled. You were fooled. Uh, check back flop here. Call a turn bet. Deuce river. So three makes the straight. He's definitely going to have three X. I think as played, though, I'm probably calling. Let's see over bets. Okay, he does over bet. Interesting. Um, so once he over bets, I think he's basically saying a three, which is, but there's, oh, man. This is such a tight fold because his seven X is his bluff and his clubs. I turn top pair. I'm going to make a really tight fold for now. Um, man, this is weird. Let me think about this actually, because this is actually maybe one of my better calling hands. So I block seven eight, which is obviously good. I block just the I unblock pier seven, unblock miss clubs. I think I'm gonna talk myself into call. So this is a kind of a spot where I th actually think having ten eight here is better than having aces, particularly aces without a diamond. I block some two pair, and I guess not a ton of two pair, but I think we have good enough blockers where we're just gonna call down here. Did have eight seven? Wow. Okay, so. Should have gone with my initial gut instinct, but man, just felt like I had such a good calling hand. Uh, here we raise king, queen, blind versus blind, betting flop. Seven turn, we're going to go ahead and check a spade. That's what we'll call. Six river. Um, so if he floats nine eight, guess we just call here. Has played. Uh, obviously lose two 
or we block Queen Jack, which is bad. I think once we turn, especially blind versus blind against someone that's capable like Dom, we're probably just calling down here. Now, if we start facing overbets, it's kind of scary. Especially if we block like Queen X suited back to our flush draw, which is not great. But first 181, we're just going to flick in the call here and turn the nuts. All right, here we go. So we open Kings. Three bet, cold four bet. I think Kings were just going to be jamming. Uh, queens would be probably flat. Ace might have some jams, so we'll get this in. Up against aces, that's no fun. Kings into aces. King ball. Ah, all right, so kings into aces, unfortunately, massive cooler. Going to lose some of our winnings back there at table. Under the gun open, three betting the button with aces. See the call, king nine seven. Start small here. Calls five turn. Don't expect to have eight six. I don't think this changes anything as far as that's concerned. We'll bet again for value. All queen river. Oh, that's a weird one. So I think this completes some two pairs. I think I'm actually making a really nitty check here because if we value bet, we have to hope he's calling like king jack exactly. Like that's like king jack, king 10, which he might, but diamonds come in. I have an ace blocker. I'm going to want to review this one, but we're going to check back this river. And he had 10 9. We're good. All right. Another Poker Stars chess force here, getting some rake back on this losing session at the moment. So $130 worth of coins. And then we're going to get $200 in cash, giving us $330 box there. All right, YouTube, that wraps up our cash game session today. So we played for five hours at 5, 10, 2, 5, and 1, 2. And in the 5, 10 game, 252 hands, minus $1,541. 2, 5, 1,026 hands, minus 5, 12. 1, 2, 1,055 hands, plus 496. Total loss on a minus 1,558. Uh, we were down like maybe 2.6, 2.8 at one point today. So we had a nice little comeback. We also got that PokerStars chess worth a little over 300. So... Cut our losses a bit today, although we do still book the loss. So hope you enjoyed the hands and the video. If you did, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you ever want to watch the live streams on Twitch, I have a link to my Twitch channel in the description below.